Back in 2011, China launched its first space lab called the Tiangong-1. The school bus-sized space station served as an experimental lab for Chinese astronauts. They released in 2016 that they had lost communication with it and, and hence has lost control of it. They believe it's out of fuel and hence it's so it's going to re-enter soon back to Earth. The 8.5 ton ticking time bomb is estimated to reach Earth sometime in the next few days. It's mostly going to burn up. However, this is a dense enough vehicle that parts of it will make it back to Earth. Scientists calculate much of the world, the green and blue areas you see, will be spared. But the yellow band, including parts of Idaho, are the areas where it's much more likely to land. But don't go digging a safety hole just yet. Swanson says because of the Earth's makeup, the debris is most likely to hit water. And even if it hits on land, the idea is mostly will probably hit an unpopulated area of land. So they look, it's, people have done the calculations on the odds, and it's like one in a trillion it could hit somebody. So higher odds of winning the lottery than it actually of getting hit by a piece of uh, this debris. But it's not impossible for it to hit someone more like improbable. And while this spacecraft is small compared to most and doesn't serve as a huge threat, Swanson says it's only a matter of time before falling spacecraft do become a problem. As time goes on, we're going to get probably more and more of these as, as things come down in the sky. And so we're going to have to come up with a, real, a good plan to how to handle this more than just kind of hoping it doesn't hit anybody. Lacey Darrow, six on your side.